Hi, this is Amy Gibbs with Mesa County Valley School District 51 Art Heritage Program. We're going to do this month's unit on Louise Nevelson. Louise Nevelson was an artist um, who made assemblages or assemblages. She found, used found objects, usually wood or architectural pieces or scraps that she found. And she put them together into both flat and box-shaped and pillar-shaped sculptures. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to have found objects. We'll have students collect or you will collect or they will already have been collected in your school little bits and pieces that the students can use to put together their assemblages. Little bits of like cork and spools and plastic pieces, little toys. This is a spider. You could use toy trucks or cars or plastic people or animals. Beads work pretty well. Um, almost anything that's a solid shape. Don't use things like pipe cleaners or flowers, um, silk flowers, that kind of thing, because you'll need to paint it later and they won't paint very well. Okay, so this is my little box of stuff that I'm going to use. We need a platform. This is my platform that I've started. I'm going to show you how we're gluing it together. You are going to get in your box um, a bunch of these popsicle sticks or craft sticks this size. So, and you will get hot glue guns and hot glue. So, I'm going to show you the best way to do this. When you glue this platform together, lay down two of the popsicle sticks about three, four inches apart, and then glue on other popsicle sticks across. You only want to do a little bit of glue at a time because this hot glue is a low temp hot glue and it cools off very, very quickly. So I'm going to finish this one up like that. And there I have my little platform. Now on this platform you can glue any number of things. What I would suggest that you do is have each student pick out what they want to use. You can limit the number of things that they can use to like six or eight or ten or whatever you want. Have them set up their composition the way they want it on their platform and then bring it to a station where you are or one of your helpers are with your glue gun. Then you glue the things together for them. Now you can have some of the older kids use glue guns if they're familiar with how to use them. Just a little bit of hot glue and stick it on. That'll stay there. If you don't want to use the popsicle sticks, you can use almost anything else. There's Here's a piece of mat board that's a dropout. You can get these from frame shops for the, when they cut out pieces that are too small to then use later. They might even cut them up smaller for if you want. You can use shoe boxes or any kind of box. Here's a small box. The lid works just as well. Gluing things in it. She also did pillar style sculptures so you could use anything that's a pillar shape. Obviously um, paper towel tubes work really well. You want to glue this down to a base very sturdily and then glue things, have students glue the, onto, the, onto the pillar. Now this is rather large, it might take a little while, so you might want to have a group of four or five do one this size, or you could have a whole class do one that is a pillar made with a very large tube, like a mailing tube that may stand up four feet or three or four feet. Um, you could also use something plastic because this hot glue is so low temp it won't melt the plastic. You, will use, you could use something like a, a DVD case and open it up and have students glue things inside the case. So all of those things are options. Just use your imagination, figure out what you want to use, what you can find. It could be a mixture of things in any classroom. It doesn't have to be the same base for each classroom. We're also providing acrylic paint and we're using acrylic paint because when you paint objects that are metal or plastic, you need acrylic for it to stick to it. After you've finished hot gluing, then you will have the students paint everything one color. Louise Nevelson was um, more about the shape and the shadow of her items, so you'll also get um, a little flashlight in your, or maybe even two, in your box. 
And what you want to do is once the students are all finished with their assemblages, then you turn off the lights in your classroom and show them how the shadows can play by moving the light around. You might want to display all of the students' work in one place and use the flashlight to show them how the shadows work. Um, you can also, if you choose not to use the acrylic paint, you can spray paint your pieces. The students are allowed to use spray paint, but it's faster for the adults to do it sometime when the students are not around. So have them finish up their work, then you can take it out and spray paint it. And then everything should be all one color. Um, you can display all of the work depending on what kind it is. If you have it flat on a platform, then you might want to display them flat on a table. Once they're glued, they can, however, be hung up. You can hot glue a um, paper clip to the back for a hanger or a wire or anything that you want to the back to use as a hanger and hang them up, bulletin board or wherever you can. If you use shoe boxes or any kind of boxes and each student has one, then you could stack up all of the boxes in one area and hot glue them together. We did that with um, one school where they had tile on the wall, so we actually glued the boxes to the tile wall, but be very careful that you're in really good with a custodian before you do that. Um, that's it. Um, have fun.